that he's used to. That yeah. It's probably the best idea there. His hands sure. are warmed up for it from last round. But Kirby's yeah, very different group, from Mario. Yeah. I mean, they're getting right into it. They're fighting. Um, yeah, Tacos, we talked about how aggressive he is, but you, he knows that if you overextend against Kirby, you eat a giant punish. So right now, he's not committing to anything too hard. It's just keeping it cool, taking the damage where he can. But All right. He is at a deficit. We do have the loser side up here as well, where we see that pretty much the only thing that has progressed so far is that, uh, that Mad Rush Brody match. And as well as uh, CTG Shiman, CTG progresses, and uh, Cobra did beat Orbi. You yet to see who will be facing uh, Dark Horse here, but... Uh, Kimi Mara will fight Dark Horse. Oh, Dark Horse. Yeah. They're probably playing right now, actually, because Dark Horse left. Well, there's has been updated. Yeah, sweet. Boom taking the lead. Um, like I said, no slouch in this matchup. Very experienced. Rarely see him even drop games. Seen him 3 0. Many a Yoshi. Yeah, with no remorse, I'll say that for sure. Are yeah. there are there only two Yoshis to defeat Boom in the past? Who knows how long? It's Wizard and Karaba. In the past while, I'd say so. Um, yeah, Takus hasn't really been uh, wanting to be one of those threats, and uh, it is definitely a hard life, and it's uh, a lot of commitment to, uh, to jump into a set like this. Yeah. Takus trying his best to wall him out and do the uh, kind of do the Wizard up here. Looks like, looking very familiar. Yep. But uh, Tacos with a little bit more uh, double jump landing on side platform. Definitely a good option. Speed up those approaches and good eggs as well. Will he take top plat? No. He, he's just kind of staying not, and grounded. He does not. will happily be there. And he's, he's lets, on top plat there. Yeah, let's Boom go back though. It's not what Tacos yeah. wants. And Boom will stay up there all day. He's fine. If it means he wins the match, then that's, like, that's how it is. Get up there. It's not going to kill though. Not the KO. It might be a little silly. He hit him with up air recently. Perhaps it would have fresh. Ooh, weak bear, unfortunate for Tacos. He needs that hard hit. He needs to take this stock and then bring it Boom as close to him even as possible. Not a little bit of slack whatsoever. Ooh, almost called him there. He was definitely ready for it, but especially with Yoshi at low percent like this, he can get a little bit more bold with that. But uh, he's reaching good jabs. Should be it. Very yeah. good jabs. We'll see if he can block this. Uh, off the top, wow. Ooh, Crazy DI high, from Boom, yeah. but uh, yeah, too, too high percent for even that. Yeah, Tacos, I think it was an accidental walk with Yoshi. Yoshi's walk isn't very good compared to his dash. Ooh, and with that drill. Got caught by that down air off the platform. I'll have to push him off afterwards. And uh, Boom using the style perfectly of just getting out of the way of Yoshi and Punching hard afterwards. Good Big opening for tacos. tacos there, but yeah. I think that was maybe the correct DI for Boom as well. Yeah, and Boom was ready to DI the forward air as well. Yeah. And who knows how far that would have gone. Boom. Still trying to catch the to, to fight on the ground now. Now that he has a bigger lead, I don't think he's... I mean, he's always cautious, but he sure, can afford yeah. to fight a little bit. And he just wants to extend that lead. Make tacos. And those are the right risks, right? Yeah. Make tacos not feel very comfortable anywhere. He's definitely doing a good job of it. He's putting him in the corner and keeping him there without really even having to do anything. And then suddenly uh, it all explodes into space. Ooh, didn't. Broke the armor there, but didn't follow up. Just waiting for tacos to make any any sort of mistake here. Oh, dodges that up smash. Saw coming. Good back air. Definitely a risk for another up smash there, but yeah, that nair was perfect. Went too high, caught him on the way down. Yeah, it didn't break armor, but the armor had subsided at that point, so just any hit at that point would have knocked Yoshi away, especially at high percent. He's trying to set up the wall of back airs, and yeah. Boom is like, all right, if you want to play that game, you can you can tire yourself out. Keep pressing your buttons. I I'll mean, go to the top flat. You, you know where to find me. What is a wall to air? You know, he has, yeah. he's, he has a cloud up there, and he's yeah. just... Uh, Oh, it scares him off the list. Probably just a misstep there from Tuckers. A little bit uh, paying a little too close attention to Boom coming at him. And falls off. We've seen that from Wizard over the past as well. But so much focus on their opponent. <laughs> after game one, it's yep. a, I think this is where historically it becomes the counterpick war. It and here does. It is. And on cue, as if 
Hits him with the, are you, are you staying Kirby? Yeah. All right, good yeah. to know. Are you staying Kirby? Uh, no, yeah, definitely. Booms Kirby, good enough to win this, but it is a bad matchup. It's Tacos Pika is very good, we said. Especially what we've seen out of him recently. He's got deep pockets. Boom, keeping up the same style, just kind of uh, keeping up that pressure with the Bears and forcing Taco's hand. Good follow up there. Ooh, the taunt. Tacos. Not sure what we'd see out of Boom if he were to lose his uh, to lose the game. But Falcon. Perhaps, yeah. I think one thing he does not exactly want to do is uh, is Yoshi. One thing they talked about though in the. Uh the pound set was that Tacos is known for switching characters even when he does win. So he might just go back to Yoshi yeah. and then use the momentum he gets from winning this game, hypothetically, to help him in that matchup just so he doesn't get counterpicked with Falcon. Definitely. Because he lost game one. He's in the, the disadvantage in terms of the counterpick war. So he's going to have to win a bad matchup eventually if that's what it boils down to. That's the uh, the tough realities with yeah. so many players. The first bear doesn't mean anything. Bear covers the front. Safe recovery, good down tilt. Boom, definitely one of those Kirby's to um, to try to take the high route and try to uh, take stage or side platform over um, just grabbing the ledge like you might see out of Fubaro. Low space in battle. Yeah, he's, he's trying to pressure him really hard with this back air. And Kirby, at a decent high percent, it'll put him in a bad spot if he does get hit by it. But Pikachu's up air does that job so much better in a lot of these situations where he, if he does a quick rising up air, it could catch Kirby because of the disjoint. He can't exactly do much right, about yeah. it. It's but just it's, better than Kirby's down air that, in that point. But uh, yeah. doesn't mean he's going to win every time. Tacos can definitely, uh, sorry, Kirby um, can definitely mix it up with... Uh, with down airs and the timing and spacing of that. On the ground, though, back air is a really good option because it can trade or beat Kirby up tilt. Exactly. But yeah. in the air, you want to be using up air because just swoop in with it. Kirby can't do much about it. The space is there. Up uh, B's and Taco's ready with uh, open air. Oh my gosh, the edge cancel. Crazy edge cancel. Special Taco secret edge cancel. And this is where Kirby, if he gets grabbed at zero, Get zero to death by Pikachu, a fairly standard combo, but a lot of Pikachus fish for it, and a lot of Kirby's are good at avoiding it. So let's see. I'm sure Tacos is more than aware and trying to avoid that and much more too. Of course. A lot of things that uh, the boom is waiting for you there. Even just bad trades like that. Yeah, you don't want to trade. He's ready to nickel and dime you all the way to the grand finals. Good weight, baits out on a move from Boom, Ooh, and now Tacos here. Oh, and the tech chase. There's these up airs we were Can't talking chase about. more. I like the forwarder to extend the combo, but just not enough. Sides. Yeah, he could off. be taking the lead here if he gets this edge guard. Ooh, close bear. That downer will do it, but yeah, he's, don't mess around. Boom's not dead good yet. Good bear, good bear. That was definitely uh, risky, though. I think uh, we've seen Boom dodge a lot of those before. Dash attack. Let's see. Back air and down Good air. Good DI from Tacos, but you get grabbed. Yep, and that forward throw more than do it. It's an amazing trap by a Super Boom fan. Tacos is trying to take the top platform and uh, hold it, not let Boom have it. Oh, it messes up the Z cancel, Boom taking advantage. Now Boom has top flat again. He has the high ground, Anakin. Don't even try it. Oh, tries to call him out going high. Going for some but, cheeky uh, stuff. And is, I mean, if you don't get punished for it, hey. Yeah, if it's safe, why not? Keep him guessing. Barely wow, misses that down air. And that would, that, I mean, the down air would have been decent. Um, I, I don't know how much frame advantage it would have given him at Cur on Kirby at zero. Yeah, it's going to be the double up B. Yep. And that's the spike. Boom, that is true, ahead. even at zero there. And that downer is going to follow up with more edge guards. Looks like he misses. Great. Come back to stage okay. with tacos from up top. Still making it work. Boom, still in a bad spot. Too Reverse risky, bear. Yeah. 
Boom respecting him, letting him get back on stage, retreats to top platform where he knows he has a good advantage. Oh, oh no reverse there. back here, okay. Yeah. And it's one stock each. Yep. We'll see if Tacos can turn it around. Anything can happen here. So often we see him kind of uh, go down and, and stay down. But, uh, I would lo I'd love to see him start to uh, kind of get over the mentality there and start to, to power up at the end. And he did back. do that at the beginning of this game. Ooh, two good hits. It seems he's moving around a little bit quicker. See grab? Oh, that's a shield, shield break. break. Yeah. And he might just do the up again. The F smash. Not enough to KO. Not enough. Not enough. Perhaps she should have Dash attack? Dash attack, yeah, tech chase. Ooh, Good DI from DI. Taco. That, that, that saved him. And, I mean, with this matchup, Pikachu can bring it back at any percent. Ooh. Falls for the bait. Pushes him off. Kirby not going to be able to catch that. Taco's in a good position, unfortunately not in percent, so not in percent he's going to have to have quite the conversion. Getting close where the fourth throw is going to KO him from anywhere, and that's one thing I always got to watch out for, but yeah. Kirby had a really good combo percent, so if Taco's can get something started, he could potentially use it to close the game. Exactly, aerial into some more up tilts or aerials, and you're uh, all well, she wrote. Oh, two. This could tech be it. Chase. Waits for the tech. Another one. Oh, that dash tech's not going to do it. Get off that uh, ledge there. Okay. Good positioning. This is, I mean, this edge guard could determine the entire game. That boom comes back. This could be big. That back air lands the shield. Boom, back air. Boom safely gets back on. Yeah, Kirby just not fast enough to catch it. So if you don't get the correct read on Pikachu up beat, great back air. You end up in situations like this. Let's see. There's oh, a trade. Taco's boom keeping him off. Pretty much all of his jumps. So not gonna have enough to make it and back. That's tacos. That's gonna be the game. Game two. Going to tacos. Despite staring at a wall multiple times in that yeah, game, there that were some times where it looked like it was too little too late. Tacos Very makes it work. Opponent, yeah. But there and it is, the counter pick advantage. Ooh, Boom. Go. I mean, this, I mean, I feel like in a lot of ways, or no, oh, we yeah. did the tacos. He's tacos the just tacos. switching first. Wins his Pico. Tacos is good at this matchup, though. We've yeah, seen him do it. It's such a polar matchup. It's so much in Kirby's favor, and the punishes are so hard that it's. Yeah. It's uh, it could be ugly, but I mean, if he has confidence, confidence in it, then yeah, you know, more power to him. See, yeah, I thought that stuff. was Boom switching to the Falcon to counter the Pikachu. But yeah, but nope. uh, not today. He's staying Kirby. Perhaps he knew Tacos too well. That's DI by that's Boom. Not, that's way too much DI. Boom's not going anywhere. Turns Falcon around. It's yeah, so bad because it kill. forces you to jump or exactly. be there. Yep. yep. It's so brutal. No other options that he can't cover. And it'll be instant death when he does. Respects the boom completely. Retreats from that side of the stage. Not even getting center stays. Just like, yeah, have it. No, take it off. He knows he has to stay outside that zone to, uh, to attack when he can. Ooh, barely dodges grab there. So it is. Boom. Not often you take the top platform in this matchup because Falcon up air is really good at covering so much of it. Yeah, it's because he doesn't want to get intercepted in the air with uh, Falcon speed, and then Falcon can convert after that uh, like this. So if, if Kirby stays on the ground, then uh, Kirby can land up tilt and, and uh, generally move around faster. But Falcon can weave in between up tilts. Uh, oh, no. Not what you want to see. Jump. Yeah, that's very unfortunate for Tacos. This set has been so high caliber. It's, it's just a tease when someone SDs at this point. Exactly. It's, it's such a shame. Very close forward air. Gonna combo it. Too Good DI from that Boom. Might be the Puts stock. Taco's in a bad spot. The worst spot there can be. The exact bottom. And, uh, ooh, good edge guard there. That's not safe, though. Such good spacing. Kirby and he ducks the grab. He ducks yeah. It, yeah. One thing Falcon can do there, though, is he can, if he's, if the Kirby is, if you realize the Kirby's waking up onto the ledge with duck a lot, you can up smash that and start ah, a big yes. combo at the ledge. So it's gonna be up to Taco's. And really, it uh, depends on if Boom is going to show that option that many times. Yeah, the... the Posting up, and oh, Taco's running in with Uppy. That is a big hitbox. Caught him off guard. Get a trade there, see if he can convert it. Oh, no, he wanted second hit. Hey, but he's still moving. Going to be one more hit out of that, nope. Okay, this is going to be very critical for Taco's. Yeah. This could be... Boom bringing the pressure at the ledge. Last moments, or his greatest comeback. Do this. Tacos is keeping him out. You gotta watch out for that dash pivot up tilt, though. 
Ooh, edge cancel. Faking it. Faking him out. Faking him out. I don't know where exactly on the stage that'll KO at this percent if he does get the hug. The back her lands. The back throw. Good wait for Won't tacos. do it, but it's going to set up for an edge guard. Need to cover it there, yeah. Yep. Can't give him that room. Taco's being very patient by the ledge there, but still playing it so close. It's so scary. This is where it's bad. Boom catches on the text in, and that's going to be it. Boom going up 2 1, and now we'll see. Will he just go back to Pika? I mean, you know, I think the crowd and anybody watching would probably say that's a smart pick. You yeah, know, it's the one he won with. So. It forces a game five. Um, and then. Looks like he's staying. Yep. And Boom will go right. Or Boom is going Pika now? Or did, or oh, sorry. Boom has changed. Yeah, Boom has uh has gone uh, has gone rat. And we're waiting okay. for Tacos to pick. It looked like he was staying on Falcon, but we were waiting for Boom to uh, to change. I think Yoshi or Falcon is the play here. For yeah, him. yeah, he's hovering over Falcon. We'll see. And he goes with Pikachu. We're going to the Dittos. You know, he doesn't like to say the same character two games in a row. That's right. Yeah, he has to have a gap in between. And uh, Tacos will be the green rat, and Boom will be the red rat. Already a huge difference in, in how they're positioning. It seems that Tacos is uh, much more comfortable in the air, and uh, Boom is totally happy to be on the ground and, and snipe landings. Boom's so good at this States. matchup, but not not the best in the world. You know, not not Peru level. But <laughs> you see, but there it is—that prominence, that dominance, even. Yeah, and perhaps Boom switched it up since then. You know, there's, uh, there's been a lot of time, so it really has a full year since Genesis Four Grand Final, so. You gotta wonder if uh, he's put a lot of time into it. Ooh. Could grab it out of nowhere. Okay. Don't follow up with the third grab there. Ooh, thought I was gonna hit run off there, but grab was definitely a better idea there. Good Ooh, evasion no by Taco. Yeah, yeah, beautiful edge cancel. And Boom trying to get himself on to short. The coverage from Tacos definitely seems to be more. Uh, Trying to catch him after these um, these quick attempts for things, but Boom is the presence of mind to uh, to stay back and be patient. Boom get, getting a fat lead though. Yeah, two stocks, pretty hefty. In this matchup, if your combos just aren't on point or your edge guards aren't immaculate, that the, the lead just gets bigger. And bigger. Exactly. If there's one element that is missing from your play, it's critical. Uh, if it's recovering, if it's edge guarding, th that those things by themselves can end games for you. Um, mm -hmm. If you can't recover, you're gonna die every time. If you can't edge, uh, edge guard, they're gonna live every time. So. It's, uh, it's a tough life here, especially at such a high level that, where these players are so versed in, in all these different uh, strategies and, and uh, Ooh, styles. Good coverage by Tacos. Yeah, and he, he takes it down to a 2 and 3, so we'll see what he can uh, continue with. But Boom looking like a shot out of a gun here. Oh, okay. Oh, and the tech chase is beautiful. Dash pivots around him for the back throw. Waits. Yeah. yeah, it instilled the fear in Taco's heart. He just got hit so many times in a row. You know, you just got a shield there instinctively, but it as if you shoot, you're going to die. And Taco's with a good, uh, with a good little combo there. Trying to string it back after that, uh, that death. But boom, uh, boom with that landing call out with the bear. So safe, and uh, it still lands it. Yeah, yeah very good up airs for Boom here. Five drop felt forward air isn't going to do much for you there. I think Boom tried that up smash intentionally yeah. because it dips lower. I think he knows that. Forward air waits it out. Tries to get that falling there. Good idea, but Tacos is out of the way and lands the up smash. Calls him out. Boom's not going to kill it yet, but good position. And the back throw. Only a stock away, but really bad spot to be in at 110% for Rat. Yeah. Ooh. And Boom will find those grabs. He smells it. Big opening for Tacos, though. This would be a combo. A little edge guard situation, but nope. I love that fast fall in there. Yeah. You can extend the combo, send him back towards offstage. Sets but up beautifully. Wisney pushes well. Tacos onto the ledge and puts him in a not very good spot. Now we're back to this neutral. Wow, picks him out of the air. Tries to stuff the up B, but Boone's already out of there. Oh, barely misspaces it. Excellent uh, approach back on the stage. Uh, it's good to put down there. 
that roll. laid down air so close, but uh, Sakos gets out of the way, he realizes. That back roll is what saved him. <laughs> and this is going to be a grab. Yep. Yeah, and that's going to be it for the set. Taco's looking a lot better towards the end of that game, but Definitely. yeah, he you was know, just down by so much. You gotta wonder if he had just stayed Pikachu if uh, if he could have adapted and, and changed.